Attorney John Allison has seen fire investigations take the better part of a year to figure out. He says his clients facing costly damages that won't be completely covered by insurance can't afford to wait that long. Fighting for answers and justice has been a decades long practice for John Allison. It's a tremendously devastating thing to go through. Starting with the firestorm of 91, where he saw the devastation firsthand as a reporter. And after I became an attorney involved in that litigation, which uh, stretched toward the ends of the 1990s. He knows these things can take time, but now representing eight victims of the Gray Fire, time isn't something he wants to waste. Witnesses can be hard to locate, they can disappear, uh, evidence gets stale, and so to wait many weeks or months before beginning to look into something like this can be too late. Washington's DNR is officially looking into the fire's cause, but Allison's team has been investigating the Gray Fire independently for the past two weeks. We have contacted witnesses and surveyed the scene ourselves. They've already uncovered some possible answers. We do have some uh, indications that this fire involved electrical equipment or wiring. We believe the DNR has that information as well and is, is pursuing that. Crimpton News has tried multiple times to speak with DNR about the investigation. So far, we've been unsuccessful in getting specific answers. Seeing the devastation, the toll that it takes, um, one of the big questions people have is, why did this happen? How did it happen? And we hope to find out. Now, right now, no lawsuit has been filed, but Allison says if it turns out someone or some agency is at fault, his job will turn to pursuing compensation for his clients. Shannon Mowdy, Crem 2 News.